Alright guys, welcome back. Another tutorial today. We're gonna use the same project we have been for a little bit. But I'm gonna show you guys how uh, to add effects with your mixer to different sounds. Um, in case no one's really been picking up on that, it's a very easy thing to do. So uh, I'll let you guys hear what I'm doing here just so you can quickly figure out what's going on for anyone who's new to uh, adding so uh, sound effects or adding um, using your mixer to add filters, uh, mass mixing techniques, sound passes, I mean phasing, just reverb, delay, anything. So as you can see, this one was just automated here. But first of all, we need to tell, I need to show you guys again how to add an effect. So let's hop on over to a Let's hop over right here where that's not going to be getting automated at all. And I'm going to show you guys how to add a reverb to a sound. So I got this snare right here. This is being played on mixer 12. So assign it to a spot in your mixer and say I want to add reverb. All you got to do once it's assigned here, and you do that by just scrolling this up or down, your, wherever your selected channel is, and then you double click that. It's going to bring up your mixer. Boom, make sure you have that selected. Go to this, click it, and you can add, find your reverb, find some delay if you want that. I mean, you can add anything, it doesn't matter. So I'll just show you the reverb now that we have that going. You can change the amount of a certain effect you want by turning this down or up. So that's how you do that. Um, you can also adjust the actual DLL or whatever you are using in here as well. So we can go on this later, but this is exclusively just how you add delay, reverb, compression, anything to a specific um, insert in your mixer. It's uh, really as easy as that. And um, of course, there's always ways to automate it as well, where if you have this selected and you want it to start without the reverb and you want to add it, of course, highlight, create automation clip, go down to your automation clip, boom, down, reverb will come in. Check it out. Those values right down here are gonna um, direct how much or where your point is on this or whatever. Anyways guys, just trying to keep it simple for this one today. That's how you add an effect in your insert on your mixer to a certain sound. Uh, that was Professor P-R-O-F-E-S-S-O-A-R. If this helped you guys out, give a like and subscribe. Come back again, check out more stuff. Check out more stuff now. Uh, check out SoundCloud, Facebook, YouTube, Pond5, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, peace guys.